What's up guys, I'm filming a current favorites. I literally almost forgot what I was filming. So if you're new, subscribe, like this video, comment, check out my other videos, check out my socials if you're not keeping up with me, you're missing out. This vacation, check out my podcast on Spotify, Pretty Open Minded, and my Etsy, um, Butterfly Organics. So I'm doing this little, un I don't know if you guys even like this lighting. I just do it for like a calming effect. I also feel like when I film for too long, and I use the um, ring light, it gives me a headache, so this is kind of like an exception. So first, we're gonna start off with my Switch because I got this as a birthday present this year and um, I haven't stopped playing it. It's like my obsession, like it's like literally you can carry it everywhere. I don't take this outside the house because I'm paranoid of someone stealing it. This coral pink color, I don't know if you could tell, but it's a coral color. I'm obsessed with it. They have different colors. Um, when it comes to like the switch light but i was like i want the coral one because i'm in my pink era what i've been playing the most is the gta game i'm kind of excited for the gta gta 6 to come out next thing is this gel this is you can't probably tell what the hell it is but it's a cantu gel this is what i used to use in the beginning of my college career i mean it's still the beginning but when I barely started school, I randomly came across this gel at the store and like it smelled super duper good and it was like super affordable. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. My hand is itching. Does that mean I'm gonna get money? So it's a guava cream gel. Um, the thing about this, you have to be very cautious about wearing this because it's a very pungent fruity smell. So every time I wore it, it the smell stays on my head pretty much all day. And so bees would attack me, flies would attack me because it's a very pungent smell. So just be wary of it. It's like really good though. Like I, this is my second bottle actually. It smells so good, but I haven't worn it in like a few months because bees were attacking me. Like I'm not even joking. Like I have to be really wary about what I wear outside. Like I don't even wear like floral perfumes because bees literally attack me. My camera's dying. I can't do that like i look crazy because everyone's looking at me like i'm trying to like wait in line to go to school or whatever and like people are staring at me in their car and seeing me fight for my life over these bees like it's embarrassing because it's happened so many times so i was like you know what i'm just gonna wear my floral perfumes inside the house because one it doesn't even last that long and two like i'm tired of the bugs following me and it was really bad in the summer Next thing is these lashes i don't really wear these a lot though um but i have worn them like enough to like you could literally tell but i've worn them like a few times already um the crazy part is it looks super duper natural to my nail uh my lashes already like i already have long lashes but i use these to like give it a little oomph you know what i mean this is the beaut beaut b and q lash clusters i prefer okay i have an unpopular opinions I learned this about myself this year. I like lash clusters versus lashes, like the 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 strip ones, whatever it's called, like the big dramatic ones. I don't really like those. I have one pair in one of these cubby things, and I'm not a fan of them. Like it makes my it um, eyes itch a lot, and I wore them once, and I was like, ooh, I spent a lot of money on this. Like, it was probably like $10, $12 for these big lashes, and I thought I was going to be wearing them all the time, but I was like, this is not really for me. Like, I thought it was for me, but I'm more for, like, the natural look. I'm not a fan of it. I low-key want to sell it because I'm just like, it's just sitting there collecting dust at this point. Like, not literally, but it just sits there, and I feel like someone else would like it. Is it this Adidas? fragrance this is what um this is moves him it says deodorant and natural spray so i've been wearing men's cologne for like a couple of months now pretty much all year um it really started for my mom okay my mom initially told me about them well one she wears them because the bees and she's allergic to bees but she got me into this echo one okay 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 i was right okay so it's oh it's 20 bucks yeah so it's this is the one that my mom would use and it's the mark echo blue spray for men it says unisex but it's i think it's for men but it's really good so i was like this is like starting my obsession right now so i have this nautica one i hate it okay i hate it and i got it through a gift card for my birthday this year 
I'm like halfway done with it but it does not last the smell does not last it's very light like it's not like I thought it was gonna be different but that's why it's not in here but we have the Adidas one my mom has this one and she got me one because I like the smell of it so yeah it's cute it's affordable it smells like a man next next if you're wondering what nails I use like all the time now it's these kiss lashes this is what I use um, because I refuse to spend acrylic prices right now one because I'm a broke college student and two because it ruins my nails and it hurts a lot like it hurts so much to take them off it hurts a lot to put them on it's just not a fun experience sometimes of them I look cute with them but I also look cute with these five dollar nails five dollars and they look like they're from the salon you can't tell in this lighting but maybe you can like look at that I can be a hand model for this I started wearing these around Thanksgiving time I wore them on Thanksgiving because I was like needing like a pick-me-up I was like I was like wanting to feel cute and I also wanted to grow up my natural nails because my natural nails like break too much these and my nails would grow a decent amount with these um so the good thing about this is you guys it has 28 nails i thought it had 24 but it has 28 and it's flexi fit so you can like bend it so it can fit your nail perfectly um the gel i mean the glue is really good the thing is you have to put a top coat on it so the the french design can stay next is the gua sha gua sha the crazy part is i got this a couple months ago um it's very overhyped I'll say that it is very overhyped, but this was initially at nine dollars, maybe ten dollars at Walmart, right? But then there's a sale, and it was in the clearance section, and it was at two ninety seven. I had to get that really quick. I wanted a gua sha, um, just to see like how it was, and like I put it in the freezer once, and it felt so good. See a difference? Um, people use it because they think it's like a thing to sharpen your jawline. My jawline has looked the same forever. I just use it to like. For lymph nodes and shit like that um, it also feels really relaxing online it also says it doesn't really have real benefits to it so these tiktok bitches are lying to you like literally just look up an article there's several articles showing that it doesn't do anything it's just a placebo effect those people that say oh I use a gua sha for uh, like six months and my jawline is snatched they work out they probably drink a lot of water that's what changed in their jawline because once you lose weight your face also changes and um it's just science it's literally common sense it's literally common sense but people are like oh my god i need to get a gua sha girl no i mean yes but no little ridges i don't really know what this part is for but i use this part right here like the little heart part and i use this part a lot so i use i do this a lot and I do this a lot. I do it for like a minute or two. Marriott um, Glow. Um, oh wait, Great Skin Serum. Um, they sent me this a year ago. This is my second bottle. I've already finished the first bottle because I liked it a lot. Um, I do have a link in case you want to buy it through me down below if you're wondering. But it was in it to keep you hydrated. It's not like super greasy and it doesn't make you feel like gross when you put it on. This is my favorite serum. I have never used a serum until I got this and I was kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie, when I got this because I was like, oh, they, sa they saw my page and they were like, um, like, around november last year and i'm like oh i want to give you some stuff you can um review it whatever whatever i have a video of me reviewing their stuff and i was geeked because it's a pretty big brand it's a pretty huge brand and they saw me little old me got myself a bunch of like i got myself like a few lip glosses i got two of these things um some eyebrow pomade they were really trying to get me to like review the eyebrow pomade but I use it when I'm like remember to use it but yeah I use this with the gua sha and it's like a really good relaxing effect I like filming videos I just really like am struggling with this vlogmas thing because initially I didn't really want to do it because I was just like you know what no one's gonna watch it I kind of fell off like I fell off really really bad the last few years and so I'm just like, ooh, I don't know if anyone's going to watch me because 
um, I fell off for one and two I don't know what I'm filming it's just kind of been going I've been going with the flow with everything I post really late and I've never done that before I post like literally at one in the morning now that is not a good posting schedule because literally when you wake up you'll see it or if you have insomnia it will be good to watch but I'm literally falling asleep as I'm editing and I do that to myself every time you know what you want to see um I got a suggestion about a Q&A but the thing is like getting people to ask me questions is like pulling teeth sometimes There's this this is the shea butter um body balm you guys seen this in my hygiene routine video this is what it looks like it smells so good though I use this when I feel like my I'm just feeling crusty and dry well mostly dry you know what I mean it's not greasy I love it a little bit goes a long way like it melts perfectly into your hands lastly I got this soap I think I did talk about this in my hygiene routine I'm just like referring to it because I did say the price of this um it's $8.97 soap is my holy grail I have talked about it before um if i can have if native sent me like a million of just this bottle alone i would be in heaven if heaven had a look it would be this because this smell is so effing good it smells like heaven i don't it just smells so sweet and it's like it stays on all day it's the cherry and vanilla macaroon the thing is nobody talks about it which i'm okay with because literally they talk about the sugar cookie one and i have the sugar cookie one in my thing overhyped i just tried it because like i said i couldn't find this bottle again in the store so i was like i'm just gonna get the sugar cookie one it smells good but it doesn't smell like the smell doesn't last long on my stuff um on my body it just smells good in the bottle I'll see you guys tomorrow um let me know what you guys think of this video and i'll see you tomorrow